I'm John Bois. So, still doing this, huh? <sighs> yeah. Fine. Let's open some stupid cards, please. Let's do it. Okay. What, what you got? Um, American Gladiators is our country's greatest sport. This is gold. She's holding a soccer ball. John, oh man, this I, don't, really valuable. I, I don't think soccer is part of the American gladiate, gladiatorial. <laughs> gladiatorial realm. She's a Miss Missouri winner. Oh, okay, okay, here we go. This is some Missouri shade, I think. Okay. Uh, her career began in high school in Missouri where she stunned the crowd and herself by winning the Miss Missouri crown. Big deal, right? Mm -hmm. Next sentence. She followed that humble start. With, <laughs> with a top four finish. If you're the best <laughs> in Missouri, that qualifies as a humble start. Uh, let's put a pin in this one and uh, check out her IMDB because it says Gold now has set her sights on building an acting career. Little known fact, Gold's real name, Meryl Streep. Wow. American Gladiators cards have to be about activities, about verbs. Verb cards. Like grabbing someone's foot or being in a cage. What is this? Let's do Let's launch. Launch. <laughs> Let's do launch. Somewhere Mike Prada is cackling at this. Ugh. I want to open these bowling cards. I've had my eye on these for a long time. They've been sitting around. Uh, they come in this like box. Um, and one thing that I think is cool about this, mm -hmm. this is a cool little marketing ploy, is just like a bowling ball, this is like a square block. So you can actually go bowling That's with true. it. That's true. It's like a perfect strike. Strike. You did it. <laughs> Turkey. Um, this looks 100% like something you are in Ross Dress for Less, checking out. You realize it's Father's Day and you're like, yup. <laughs> and you yup, think, didn't get him anything, hope you like this. Because you think this is a cologne. Right. You think it's cologne. 2000 BBA bowling cologne. <laughs> Whoa. These look, that, are these like. I think this is a gift card. This is, this is I like. I think this is a gift card for like an online music streaming service that has not existed in four years. You know, I've read a few <laughs> magazines in my day. I think this is perfume. This is a female condom. <laughs> <laughs> the, the face of female condom. <laughs> Each one of these has a whopping four cards in it. Dave Davis. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so you're like, all right, well, what's on the back? Congratulations, you have this card. Hey, legendary moments. Me? Is the legendary moment that Dave Davis signed this card? Because it doesn't suggest that there's another one. So when you go bowling, John, there is a TV mounted above the alley. Yeah, it's my favorite show. And it it says what your scores are, right? Mm -hmm. Like, bowling is pretty basic in terms of stats, but they don't list them at all here. There's nothing about what these men bowled, how good or bad they were. And the thing is they Strikes, easily... turkeys, spares, nothing! Ski for Okay. In 1970, he made $33,000. What an idiot. <laughs> I feel like if you got to a point where you can reliably throw a strike, mm -hmm. you know, because most pro bowlers hit like seven or eight strikes a game, yeah. right? There can't be a big gap between that and 10 strikes. Like you should be able to just throw a strike. You're forgetting time, about right? the bowl lord who oh. decides what will fall and what will stay. Oh. Well, that was more boring an explanation than I thought <laughs> it was going to be. Let's do, we do one non-bowling gladiator sport. Yeah. Okay. We can go with some, some 87 pop. <clears throat> we haven't gone this early, have we? I don't think so. I don't watch this show. Let's see. So, okay, you and I, Ryan, mm -hmm. have a chance to win a trip to 1988 spring training. We can take a trip to the past. Then we what? could go 1988 and see the dinosaurs. Will, will we be the age we were in 1988? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'll be five. Uh, I will also be five. Hey, <laughs> five brothers. We're, are we twins? I thought we were twins, probably. Cut the deck. Lloyd. Shuffle up and deal. <laughs> Shuffle up and deal. <laughs> on the, on, you got Lloyd Mosby on one side. You got Gun removed <laughs> on the other side. You're not going to eat this gum, are you? I might. <laughs> Chalk. Don't eat the chalk. Don't eat the chalk. Mike. John. Mike. John. Mike. <laughs> you want to hear a crazy fact about Lloyd Mosby? Yes. Get this, okay? Lloyd and his wife are the parents of two children. 
Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Can, can you even, who has two children? He's got two hats too, hard hat, soft hat. He's just a- One for each child. He must be a Gemini. Those He's gotta children. be a Gemini, I see him. What if, what if he thinks, what if the word we use for hat, he thinks means children and vice versa? She's like, yep, here are my two boys. That would make me really I bad. love my two boys. Not even, couldn't even say, weren't even like, eh, should we indicate the gender or his wife's name? Nah. Chris Bando, um, another dad, another baseball dad. Chris and his wife has a, have a son, Ben. See, he gets, he gets he a gets shout names. out at least. No baseball player's uh, wife is allowed to have a name. It's an interesting, like, handmaid's tale kind of thing. You are baseball wife. <laughs> you are all you, baseball you, wife. You gave up your name the day I got drafted. Frank studied accounting at St. John's University. He and his wife have a son, Frank. No wife shall have a name! No wife shall have no a name! No wife shall have a name! Baseball is for boys. King Tops has spoken! Boys only. Alvaro and his wife are parents of two no children! No wife shall have a name! Why? Okay, let's, let's, let's just keep track of these, like, all these dad yep, cards. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dads with nameless goddamn wives. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. So we got majority dad. Yeah. And that way we actually, American Gladiators were wo much more woke because there are actually women on those cards. Are they wives? They're, I don't know. <laughs> they, maybe they are, maybe they're not. You're picturing an American Gladiators origin now. Yep. I mean, <laughs> you, you weren't? I thought they were all having sex and stuff. So Is just, that why you said she seemed nice? Yeah. <laughs> People who have sex are nice. That's my experience. Ryan, you and I have come to a consensus on the worst card of the week. That is this PBA card of Mike Scroggins. Yep. Uh, in part because look at his face. Not in part, almost entirely because of his face. True, no. It yeah. is maybe the least flattering image I've seen on any of the cards we've opened so far. You know what makes it worse? Oh, I'm tired of seeing his face. Let me turn the card over. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. What if you could just see his face? Ugh. What if you just focused on this ugly, unfortunate moment? How much would somebody have to pay you to read this entire paragraph about Mike Scroggins? How much will you pay me right now? I'll give you $5. Okay. Out loud? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm leaving. Starting here at 2006, 2007? Uh, whatever. Okay. Put together another solid campaign after a career season in 2005, 2006. Finished 13th in the PBA World Point Rankings making three championship did he leave <coughs> i read it i read the whole thing you read it okay yep. cool Thank all right you. where does that go on the board um come on come sit down okay no friend. that's okay where, where does it go on the board <laughs> okay thanks john i'm tempted to go all the way at the top but i know you don't agree with that <sighs> checklist checklist is just such a it's a bouquet of shit. i'm going to stick him right in the gut so okay. that you can be now now it makes sense okay <laughs> <laughs> How did he make his mouth an oval like that? I can't even do that. Try it. Uh, <laughs> I don't like that face. <laughs> That's a weird face. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm going to leave. <laughs>